Right, welcome back to the warm, let's pretend it's warm, shall we? <laughs> it's not, but let's pretend. But let, welcome back to the fabulous inaugural Female Leaders Bar. And I'm really excited to have with me for this honesty session, Caroline Manson, Marketing Director for Antu. Welcome, Caroline. Thank you. Right, so these sessions, they're punchy, they're short, they're snappy, and it's about giving people advice, it's about being honest, about you know things that have gone wrong or things that could have gone better, but also some tangible takeaways because we all want to be excited about this industry, so what's next, what can we be looking for, what's exciting? So we're at Female Leaders Bar, you are a female leader. Can you talk to me about your journey and what you love about being a female leader? Okay, so um, I think for me personally, um, when I kind of thought about it, being a female leader, a bit controversial. I never think of myself as a female leader. Do you know what? I, I like that. <laughs> yes, you're just a leader. It doesn't I'm matter that you're female. <laughs> Love it. Um, so in the way that I, d I don't think men think of themselves as male leaders or anything, but I do think it is really important. Like I'm very proud to be a female, to be leading, um, and to allow other women and men, for that matter, to see them, uh, to let them see other women kind of leading in those positions. Uh, because I remember when I was quite junior, it was important for me to see that actually I I could become a leader to be a director to be more than that um, so yeah I think I'm, I'm on my journey I still think I've got some way to go and I'm excited about the future but fabulous yeah. and I like that you're right you know why why is it female leader it should just be a leader but also another point that you said is about you've got to see it's a phrase isn't there that you can't cannot be what you can't see and it's important isn't it for women to be in these positions and us to see women in these positions yeah. to aspire to those positions um, when we talk about women and we talk about opportunities in the industry, um, networks, networks can be really, really important. So ha have networks been important to you and how are networks important to you in your career? Uh, yeah, so um, in terms of kind of networks, I think that my kind of history, um, I, I've got a mentor um, and it, He's actually male, but um, I did kind of think about having a female one, but he's really helped me with my career, being able to like answer questions, um, going for like drinks, just talking things out. And he's helped me with a few of my uh, positions, like changing roles. Um, he's really helped me decide what I wanted to do. Uh, so I think getting a mentor is really helpful. Um, and then just generally going to events like Mad First, industry events, can and things. Um, so you can see other women in these areas, talk to them, and then you kind of realize actually everyone does kind of have the same issues or, um, and also successes as well and talking about it. So I think that really helps as well. And, and talking about your male um, mentor, it's important and, you know, this space, yes, it's female leaders bar, but it's not exclude. We're not excluding men. It's an inclusive sp space, and actually, something we were talking about earlier was important of sponsorship, allyship, and we do need those male colleagues and allies to kind of help us on our journey, don't we? Because yeah. you know, we're not saying we're anti-male. We're saying actually, we're celebrating being female, and actually, anyone who's part of that, who wants to champion that, should be along with us. That's important, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Cool. Um, Let's talk about what companies can do. So you're in Anzu. What can companies do to help women in tech? Because the ad tech industry and myself and Lisa, that my business partner, you know, we we <laughs> we also have a lot with <laughs> male tech founders, and it can be it is a lot of male tech founders that we deal with. So how can companies help females within their company thrive, not just survive, but thrive? And what can they do to better champion women? Um, yeah, so I'd say kind of championing, championing women. Um, at, at Anzu, we do have like a, a male kind of like the the guys that founded the company, three three men. But 
around them, they surrounded themselves with really strong women. Um, and I think that's really important for the rest of the company. Um, and we we have done things like we, we had like a webinar for the whole company that was all around uh, female leadership. Um, that was a couple of months ago. So yeah, I think it's just making sure that you're doing things, not just putting out a social post saying, oh, yeah. we've got some women that work for us. Yeah, um, people see through that, don't yeah. they? Yeah. Uh, but actually doing things, um, kind of make it, putting in policies as well um, that are going to help women succeed and like actively pushing them up the career ladder as well and really supporting them. Mm. That's really that's really good. And I think it's important to have those kind of tangibles. It's like, yes, you can see women at the top or near the top, but actually are there policies that you can put in place to actually actively help women in the workplace? Um, you talked about being a leader. What three things do you think make a good leader? Uh, so I would definitely say having a good team around you. Um, if you don't have a good team, you're not really leading at all. And just on um, that one, sorry yeah. to jump in there, but on that one, I think that's, that's so important as a leader to understand that because I've had, I'm sure others have had, you've had a bad, bad manager who thinks being a leader is about keeping it all to yourself and doing it all yeah. yourself. And actually being a strong leader or a good leader is recognizing that you need that team around you, isn't yeah. it? Yeah. Um, so yeah, definitely a strong team around you. Uh, I think vision and clarity. Mm. Um, so being able to kind of know where you're going and tell people where you're going, bringing them along. Um, I've definitely had, you know, scenarios where you're kind of following someone, they don't really know what's going on. <laughs> yeah. So you don't really know what's happening and that's not helpful. So I think uh, that um, and then kind of emotional intelligence mm. and communication as well so um, being able to kind of understand people not just in business but in life as well and I think that's even more important now in a in a kind of hybrid yeah. work environment as yeah. well understanding what's going on being able to listen um, and you know taking on that feedback as well definitely so shout out time female leaders and just leaders in general that have inspired you throughout your career? Um, so I've got, kind of got two, yeah, if that's, that's okay. Fine. So one, um, Lucy Jameson, who um, had founded Uncommon. I was really inspired by her when I was younger because she took her, well, not sabbatical, her gardening leave mm -hmm. um, and went from Grey to Facebook as like a Facebook intern. She really made the most of that time. Um, so that when she started her company she kind of knew more about the industry so I thought that was really good and like acknowledging that she didn't know everything uh, so that's one and then the other one I'd say is um, Cheryl Sandberg I just really loved her lean in I read that again when I was quite junior um, and just really made me think actually you've got to work really hard put in the hours when you're younger and hopefully it will pay off Definitely. when you're older gives you the options to do what you want Definitely. So. and on that um, what advice would you give to not just, not just people starting out in the industry but people maybe mid mid level within their career you know what what can we do to help ourselves get to that next level a, sorry I framed question. that one in at the end um. <laughs> <laughs> it wasn't just um, come on, you can. Okay, so, so mid level, <laughs> yes. where, where do they? Yeah, to yeah, get to that next level in their career. Um, I think, I mean, it's, it's kind of from like lean in, it's, you know, just try and get as far as you can. Also, like, just um, kind of expand what you know. Um, networking, I think, is really important. Definitely. Um, that's really helped me in my past. Um, and kind of just have the confidence in yourself that um, I, I can guarantee that there's no one who knows everything. So yes. don't worry that you don't know everything because you've got, you know, a team around you, which hopefully you can build or uh, you've, exactly. you're part of that team and they can help you get where exactly you need that. to be. And I think I'd probably add one more thing to that in terms of taking opportunities because I think, you know, yeah. and I'd say especially as females, you know, I, I have 
often involved in speaking events and I would want female, I'll seek out female speakers and people will drop out or say, well, I'm not sure, but take your opportunity, you know, just whatever opportunity comes to, take it, grasp it. What's the worst that can happen? Yes, you know, and that's so happened a couple of times <laughs> to me. So. I know, and Caroline was, <laughs> yeah, dropped in at last minute for this. So thank you for taking the opportunity yeah. and speaking to thank me. You. Thank you so much, Caroline. Thank you.